Hi, this is Alfauzia Nihal from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. In today's session, we are going to discuss polynomials and its types. Polynomial is nothing but an expression which consists of coefficients, variables, constants with some signs in between. Okay, now let us see what are the types of polynomials. Types of polynomials are divided on the basis of the degree and the basis of the terms. Based on terms, polynomials can be divided into five types. Let me list out the types first. So these are the five types of polynomials based on terms. The name itself will explain you what type of polynomial it is. Let us start with monomial. Monomial is a polynomial with only one term is called monomial. Okay, for example, we can write, I have given few examples under the topic monomial. Hope you got the idea. These are the polynomials with just only one term. Okay, now let us move on to binomial. Binomial is nothing but polynomial with two terms. Let me write few examples. So you'll get a better idea. By, by means two. Here are the examples for binomial. Polynomial is a mixture of terms, coefficients and constants. In this example, you can see a whole number as coefficient and fractions as coefficients. Even the constants can be of any type. It could be a fraction, decimal or a whole number. Now let me move on to trinomial. Tri means three. So a polynomial with three terms will be called as trinomial. You can also frame examples based on the previous examples. So if it is a monomial, there will be just only one term. Binomial means two term. And for trinomial, you can frame an expression with three terms. Okay, let me write my examples on the board. Hope your example maths with mine. Even I have framed examples with three terms. Now let us move on to the next type. Fourth type is constant polynomial. Now let me explain what is a constant polynomial. Polynomials that contain only constant term is called as constant polynomial. For example, you can have any number like positive number, negative number, fraction. So it is considered as a constant polynomial. Let me write the examples on the board. Hope you are clear with constant polynomial. Okay, now let us move on to the last type. Last type of polynomial is, based on the terms is, if the expression contains more than three terms, then the expression is called polynomial. Let me write few examples under this one. So when you get an expression more than three terms, you can say that that is a polynomial. Hope you are clear with this one. Okay, let me do a few examples. Let us take an example and classify the polynomials according to the terms that is given. Let us start with practice question one. In first question, a number is given. It means it is a constant polynomial because no other terms are there and there is no variables like a, b, c, x, y, z. It is just a number purely. So this can be, uh, this will come under the category constant polynomial. Please look at question number two. We just have a number that is zero. It is not a negative number, not a positive number. So you can say this as zero polynomial. Now let's move on to question number three. In this, we have only one term, that too a variable, not a constant number. So when there is only one term in the expression, we say that this is a monomial. Hope you are clear so far. Now let's move on to the question number four. We have three terms. In this expression, a mixture of constant and variables are used. So by counting, we can say that we have just three monomials connected by plus or minus sign. So this could come under the category trinomial. Hope this makes sense to you so far. Now let's move on to the question number five. Please count the terms. We have just two terms. 
a variable and a constant. These two monomials are connected by plus or a negative sign. So this is a binomial. Bi means two. So if, a, if we get an expression with two terms, we say that this is a binomial. Okay, now let's move to question number six. We have more than three monomials connected by plus signs here. By counting, we can say that there are four, now, four terms, which is greater than three. So when you get an expression which has more than three monomials connected by plus or minus sign, we say that it should be a polynomial. Poly means many. Hope you can now classify the polynomials based on the terms. Okay, great. Now let us move on to the types of polynomials based on the degrees. Before starting with the types based on degrees, let me explain you what is the degree of a polynomial. Degree is nothing but the highest power of the polynomial. For example, let me show you an example. Please look at this example. In this polynomial, this polynomial is arranged in descending order and the term with highest exponent is 4, the first term. So, the degree of the polynomial is 4. So, the exponent, the highest exponent will be considered as the degree of polynomial. So, while finding the degree of polynomial, the polynomial powers of the variable should be either in ascending order or descending order. Please make it sure. If not, you can arrange it in ascending or descending order. So, your job will be very easy. Let us now discuss types of polynomials based on this degree, particularly of an expression. If the highest degree of an expression is 0, you can say that it is a constant one. If the degree is 1, we can say that the expression is a linear equation or linear expression. If the degree of an expression is 2, we say that the polynomial is a quadratic expression. Uh, hope you are familiar with this quadratic. We used to do factorization using this particularly. Okay, if the degree is 2, the type of the polynomial is quadratic 1. If the highest degree of the expression is 3, we say that the expression is cubic. Cubic means 3. If the highest degree is 4, we say that the expression is quartic. If it is 5, we say that it is a quintic. Let me write it. For degree 4, you can say where either it is quartic or biquadratic. Okay. Let me write the names for all the types of polynomial till 10. Okay. Please scroll down the page. I have given the names for rest of the number of degrees. So, when you are dealing with degrees, you have to look for the highest one. Okay. Now, let me show a few examples. So, you will get a better idea. You will not get these types of equations frequently and even you will not uh, be asked to identify what type it is. So it is just enough if you go through the name and uh, make yourself familiar with these names. Okay, now let me show the examples. Uh, before going into the examples, I would like to explain you one more type. Uh, what will you do if the exponent, the highest exponent is infinity? Yes, if it is undefined or infinity, you can say that the name of the polynomial is just 0. Because 0 raised to 0 is 0, am I right? I mean a 0 and undefined one. For a non-zero constant, we can take an example of any number. It could either be a positive one or a negative one. Highest degree is 0 because there is no variable here. It, there is just a number. So, no variable. It means x raised to 0. x raised to, raised to 0 is, we just don't have any term. So, there is no degree for the polynomial. Or you can say that degree of the polynomial is just 0 for any constant. Okay, now let us move on to the next type. Linear. Linear means the degree of the polynomial should be equal to 1. x is nothing but x raised to 1. So, the degree is 1. So, we call it a linear polynomial. Now, let me write an example for quadratic. Quadratic mean, means exponent equal to 2. Hope that makes sense to you. Now, let us move on to cubic. Cubic means the highest exponent should be equal to 3. 
so I can write an expression uh, with x cube same way for the rest when the degree is equal to 4 you can uh, write the expression as this I'm going to make it simpler just have a glance over these example for quartic I have written an expression with 4 and for quintic the degree is 5 same way I have written examples based on the degrees please have a glance over this then you will have a clear idea about this what about the last one if the degree is undefined you can say that it is a zero polynomial so example would be obviously zero hope you are clear with this concept in case if you have any query you can let me know